In this video, we start a new topic today, which is called as the inverse of a function. We have already covered up what is a function, what are the types of functions, what do we understand by composition of functions, and in the series of the modules of functions, we are going to start inverse of functions. Now, I would be starting this topic of overview of inverse by a mathematical example and then we'll see a schematic based on it also. So suppose I have a function being given to me which is written here as fx is equal to 5x minus 8. This is a function which is given to me. Now how to frame this function? 5x minus 8 if you think here if I give an input x and now I have to obtain 5x minus 8 means x has to be multiplied by 5. So I am multiplying by 5. Now after multiplying by 5 with x, I get 5x. And after we get 5x, I want 5x minus 8. So I need to subtract 8. So I will be subtracting 8. And hence I get 5x minus 8 which is nothing but my fx. This is the story of how to frame a function, how do we get a function. But in the below diagram, I will be showing how to get inverse of a function. So inverse of a function is basically the reverse process of the creation of a function. In this type of function category, what we will be doing is, now I have the function with me and I have to obtain the inverse. So what happens is, I start with 5x minus 8 which is equal to fx basically and then what I do is I have to get the input which I had fed that is I have to get x. So getting x from 5x minus 8 is possible? Yes it is. How is it possible? First I need to eliminate this minus 8 then I need to eliminate this 5. So how would we be doing this? Let's see minus 8 should be nullified so I add 8. Now when I add 8 to 5x minus 8 this basically becomes what minus 8 and plus 8 get cancelled I get 5x. Now this 5x should actually be converted only to x. How to make it possible 5 is being multiplied I have to divide so I divide by 5. When I divide by 5 to 5x, I just get x. That means I started with something that is the function. And I got what? I just got x. Hence, inverse of function is what? It is nothing but the process in which I would be converting my given fx into something called as f inverse x. This is a representation of inverse of a function. Now, let's basically see what is the graphical analysis or what is inverse of function in the form of a diagram diagrammatic form. This given in front of you is the Cartesian plane in which I have plotted y is equal to x line with the blue marker and two curves are given to me. One is written as fx and the other is written as f inverse x. Now by observing the graph or the diagram, you must have till now understood that these curves have a relation. That means fx and f inverse curve have a relation that these are the images or mirror images of each other. These are the curves which are reflected evenly about the line y is equal to x. That means if this graph is not drawn on a board rather on a paper and you fold the paper about the line y is equal to x, the curves will overlap. That means two functions fx and f inverse x are the reflections or images of each other about the line y is equal to x. So in this video, we just got a very basic understanding of what is inverse of functions. One more thing to be kept in mind while solving it with the help of flowchart 
that small questions can be done in this manner. But for lengthier questions, we cannot go about drawing the flowchart again and again. So we need to have some mathematical calculation intensive approach for it. That we will be discussing in our next video with the help of few questions.